What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here, and today we're gonna take a look at this massive full tower case by Be Quiet. This is the Silent Base 800. Now this case is designed to offer silence optimized operation and airflow, so if either of those are a priority, then this may be the case for you. So taking a look at the front of the case, we can see there are silver accents running from the top to bottom, along with mesh grills to allow airflow into the case. The silver accents also come in black or orange depending on the version of the case you get. In the middle of the case you have this faux brushed aluminum which is a little prone to fingerprints but give the case a nice look. Now the top door allows access to your five and a quarter inch bays and reveals some of the sound absorbing foam. Now the nice thing about the top door is that the hinge can be mounted on the left or right side depending on your preference. If you release the bottom door, you'll find more sound deadening foam along with a dust filter. Removing the filter gives you access to two pre-installed 140 millimeter Pure Wings fans. If we move around to the back of the case, you can see the rear IO, 120 millimeter exhaust fan, seven PCI slots, bottom mounted power supply, and a removable dust filter. Now the good thing about this case is all of the airflow is channeled towards certain areas, which will help cut down on noise. The top of the case gives you access to the power and reset buttons along with four USB ports and a headphone and microphone jack. And at the rear you have exhaust ports for any top mounted fans. Again, these are directed away from the user to help regulate noise. Moving around to the side of the case, we get access to removable silver feet. Now, these also come in black if you get one of the other two models. And removing the side panel gives us access to the goods. The side panel has sound deadening foam as well as a dust filter and a 120 millimeter fan mount to allow for additional airflow, although it will sacrifice a bit of silence. As for the interior of the case, it supports ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX boards. There's a pre-installed 120 millimeter Pure Wings fan to help dissipate heat in the rear. For drive space, you get three five and a quarter inch bays as well as two removable hard drive cages. For installing three and a half inch drives, Be Quiet provides these anti-vibration mounts which install onto your drive with thumb screws and then you simply slide them into the cage and close the latch. Two and a half inch drives are mounted on the underside of the drive cage with normal screws. Not my favorite mounting method, but luckily there are other mounting options which I will cover later. Also, you can install up to an 11 inch graphics card with the hard drive cages installed. Aside from that, you get a large CPU cutout for mounting aftermarket coolers and rubber grommets for routing cables. The power supply is mounted on the bottom and can have a 120 or 140 millimeter fan installed next to it depending on the length of the PSU. This case also supports up to a 280 millimeter radiator at the top and unfortunately only up to a 140 millimeter radiator at the front. And for that you can think this guy, which is non-removable. Uh, for a case this large, I'd like to see better front radiator support to really help uh, draw in that enthusiast crowd. If we remove the top cover, you can see the possible radiator or found manning options. Uh, again, for radiators, you can fit up to 280 millimeters and for fans, 120 or 140 millimeters. Behind the motherboard tray is where you will find two additional SSD mounts, which I do wish were toolless, uh, as well as various cable tie points. I noticed that most cable tie points were near grommets and that there wasn't one to the right of the SSD brackets, but I later noticed that Be Quiet provides an optional cable hook which you can install with included 3M tape. Now I didn't notice this until well after the fact because I don't read instructions, so uh, maybe they should just have that pre-installed in the next iteration. Now despite my issue, controlling cables is fairly simple as there is quite a bit of room behind the motherboard tray for cable routing. Now I was a little bit surprised to not find a fan controller on this case uh, given the amount of fan mounting options. Uh, being that this case is optimized for silence, a fan controller of some kind is a must. But regardless, uh, building in this case went fairly smooth. Uh, I was able to remove the hard drive cages for better airflow and relocate the smaller cage to the five and a quarter inch bay for my one terabyte hard drive. Uh, routing cables with a modular power supply was fairly simple as well, and all of the grommets appear to be in the optimal position. Now my micro ATX board doesn't really do this case justice as a full ATX board will sit just above the power supply. Also fitting a CPU cooler in this case should be pretty easy as it can accept one up to 170 millimeters. 
Uh, as you can see, this massive Dark Rock Pro 3 fits no problem. Now overall, this case is a really solid option, uh, especially for a first try from Be Quiet. Uh, and I really love to see a high-end workstation or water cooling build in it to do it justice. And yes, uh, with a little tweaking to the fan controls, this case can be quiet. Next, I'd love to see a more mainstream case from Be Quiet. Uh, maybe a mid-tower case with a tinted side window and similar internal layout. Uh, of course, silence optimized. Uh, but what do you guys think? Uh, is the Silent Base 800 the case for you? Or would you like to see something uh, different from Be Quiet? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. So that's about it guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please be sure to throw me a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar content, and until next time, see ya. On the other side we've got a nice 135mm Silent Wings fan with a grill covering it, the max power of the unit, which comes